Good morning and welcome to the new vlog. We find ourselves right now in Franschhoek at De Villiers Chocolate. Yes, so Byron brought me here to De Villiers because firstly they have really nice chocolate, but also they have vegan options. So... It's very busy. This is not at all what I expected. It's very busy, but very, let's go see busy. what it's like. to come to the De Villiers chocolate what is it a house tasting, tasting? Oh, the, I don't know if it's a factory or the shop yeah, a remember. shop yeah. anyway and we wanted to do the tasting but because of COVID the tasting is still closed but you can still go and like buy different chocolates and they have ice cream too which I didn't know so we bought some chocolate um, but we also didn't realize how huge this place was we thought it was just like a shop but it's a whole like farm with everything. There's so many things to do and the food smells incredible. But there's massive lines outside so it's obviously very popular. And we are here on a Sunday as well so all the families are out and people are doing their motorbike runs and their cycling runs and their supercar runs. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah there's a few nice looking restaurants, there's some arts and craft kind of shops and then the chocolates. So. I think it's called the Spice Root Destination, but I'm not confident in we'll that. We'll find that out, yeah. We'll find that out. <laughs> Everything smells so good and we're hungry, so we're going to try the... The raspberry. Very vanilla and almond. 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 <laughs> okay, you're supposed to open it now. What's happening? For a raspberry chocolate, it smells pretty good. You a fan of the raspberry? I don't know, but I like the chocolate. I can't really taste the raspberry unto itself. But that is good. I don't know if I was clear enough. It was delicious. It was very delicious. I want more. Well, as it is, we're at Babylon Sturen. Well, there you, there you have it. We are now at Babylon Sturen. Sturen? Sturen. Sturen. Um, I have not. So we are now at Babylon Sturen. And they have like all of these gardens that you can walk around in. And then they also have like places where you can have coffee and I think there's like a restaurant and a hotel and stuff like that. Well, this place is also extremely popular. Everything is packed. You'd have to wait in lines for either of the restaurants. All the gardens are just full of people. Again, it is a Sunday and it is a good sign that there's a lot of people there. But that means we opted for bakery food, yeah. which I'm not complaining about either. Not it's still warm and crispy. This is what we choose eating in the car. Mm. <laughs> mm. We are at La Fontaine and we are busy filming some of the room currently in the bathroom with Byron. Hey Byron. Oh, I'm in the way. <laughs> and yeah, we are shooting the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. It's really cool. I really like this design they've got going on the wall with all of the baskets. I think it's like a woven basket. I'm really not sure what the term is, but that's quite cool. And then they've had a lot of bold colours in the hotel. Well, so, our room is blue, but it looks really cool. Um, and if you go out on the balcony, hopefully it doesn't overexpose. It overexposed, but we're back. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they've got this little balcony where you can come sit have some coffee and then you can also look out onto the mountains which are absolutely beautiful In the closet way back I won't be needing that I won't be needing that oh. I'm ready to fly down 65 Hit the coastline In the sunshine I'm going to find my new high Hit the coastline So we're just at the bar with Washington and he is telling us all about... Okay, so this is uh, in Lofugin. It's made up by a lady, it's a husband and a wife, they call Paula and Nick. In Lof basically means, it's an African word meaning elephant. So, what they did is, uh, they uh, thought of an elephant and how they uh, what it eats, um, the body animals and all that. And then they decided, no, instead of people robbing elephants of their Fresh botanicals, why don't they use the word? Because um, say that an elephant, out of the 100% of the food that it consumes, it only digests 30%. 70% comes out as it is. So they take the, uh, the elephant cocoa and they clean it. It undergoes five cleansing processes and then they infuse it with the gene to come up with the indo. Sure. And it's a very. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> How crazy is that? Gin literally made from elephant dung. And now I'm going to make you um, something to excellent for you to taste and to... Um, okay. So I trust time, you. So. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Is our elephant dung cocktail gin? What do you call it? Is it a cocktail? Yeah, it's um, a cocktail. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> so here is our elephant dung cocktail. I'm excited. And now we are enjoying a three-course meal in the culinary capital of South Africa. Well, Tammy's taking a few pictures and then we are enjoying a three course meal in the culinary capital of South Africa which comes with vegan options for Tammy. How do you feel about that? So happy. So happy. I'm ready to fly down 65 Hit the coastline in the sunshine breakfast time and currently we are the only ones at breakfast so we stole a whole bunch of things off of the buffet table so we could come and take some pictures look at the spread delicious I'm ready to fly down 65 hit the coastline He's got this whole spread and he doesn't know where to go, where to start. Currently he's got croissants, he's got all these flapjacks, some salmon over there and he's hovering by the table. I'm even going to try some vegan yogurt. Some vegan yogurt, yes. So that's just what I was going to say. So I have some food here with some vegan yogurt. Exciting. Taken 
the bicycles out and we are currently riding through Franschhoek and we are at now the museum, the Huguenot Museum and we are also right by the monument which is dedicated to all of the Huguenots and we're just walking around, cycling around and exploring the town it's really nice, a great way to go about and see things um, as opposed to a car so loving the bikes <laughs> just kindly dropped us off and now we're going with Justin and he is going to give us a guided hike <laughs> we're on the hike and the water is currently I don't know so high or it's been raining so much there's a lot of water so the path has disappeared <laughs> so Justin is busy creating a bridge for us to walk across but apparently during the big drought this whole dam was completely empty and you could like walk across some parts of it so that's just insane to see it so full now but let's cross the river we made it across we still live to tell the sta this tale we live to tell the tale of the river crossing we might not live we to might tell not the tell the tale yeah okay another one <laughs> small little bug here it's very like, very slightly tacky like, yeah I suppose in the heat of the day like this is probably the least mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. That's good. You just wanted to do a push-up on camera, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish we had more time to do a longer hike or more days to just go back but it was stunning there and now that we've come back to the car to fetch stuff I found more chocolate so another de Villiers chocolate mm. Yo, that's so nice. So we are back from the hike, which is really cool. Byron's hiding behind me. <laughs> we, what did I just say? I just said we're back from the pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're not back from the pool we're back from the hike then we went to sit by the pool and now we are going to go and grab a cocktail so like the most amazing spread outside so we're literally eating outside 
the room like on the little patio so this is the garden suite i believe or it's room eight <laughs> at la fontaine and it's really cool because it's really nice and secluded so there's like this whole uh I want to call it like a woodland section, but it's got like bamboo and trees, so it makes it really private. And you're right by the pool, and then you've got your room. But look at this breakfast setup. So we've got like this whole spread for the two of us and there's some croissants, some muffins, some salmon, ham and tomato, cheese platter, fruit. But what is so cool is that I get vegan options as well. So I'm trying not to get in the way of buying because he's busy filming some. But these are my vegan flapjacks and then those are Byron's non-vegan flapjacks and I've got vegan yogurt so this is really cool I forgot to say goodbye so this is the end of the vlog thank you for joining us we hope you enjoyed it now it is time to move on to the mother city Cape Town let's go mm -hmm.